We're in. We're in. <laughs> You're live. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Regional of Louisiana, number 24. Welcome, welcome. I'm Curls. This is Swiss here. And we are going to be your commentators this lovely afternoon. We have our monthly going on. Uh, and they're jumping right into it. Okay, so we have Teach versus Iris. We have a Terry versus a Cloud. Not a matchup you see too often here in Lafayette. Yep, and uh, these two players of the last three times they've played, Teach has won the most recent two of them, but going Kazia says here on Smash App. Okay, okay. So, so Terry this, a little bit of a mix up here. So this is the first time going Terry in this matchup. Oh, oh aerial falling finishing up touch. air into the finishing touch. Yeah, I love this. That's yeah. one of my favorite combos in the game. Technically, I guess it's suboptimal because the aerial one does less knockback and also does like 2%. So I think... One. 1%? One yeah, my bad. Yeah, yeah, finishing touch does 1%. So if you don't get the kill, what's the point? I think if you if you catch the landing there on Terry, you probably get the kill. But yeah, aerial finishing touch not doing the trick. Shield poking, perhaps? Shield poking? I don't know if you were trying to parry or... Parry's okay there. It's a little tricky because it's not like a given parry because the shield lag on the previous two jabs are super low. Good side B. I like the idea. You know, I get the chance to poke there, especially at that lower angle. Oh, that's going to take the stock. Yep. All right, good start right there from Teach. Yeah, great catch. Yeah, getting a getting a gimp. I wouldn't say an early gimp because we were only, you know we were at a hundred. But ooh, the tipper. Upsmash. Iris right back at it now. Yeah, clean up smash. Is there a tipper on that move? I mean, not really, but like the it tip hit. of yeah, the, the tip the of the box. Yeah, yeah you just... were highest at that point, so you're hopefully going to die a little earlier. So yeah, effectively a tipper, I guess. Yeah, Teach doing the DI on that up B, netting them all, some free punches. Big damage, three up airs in a row. We do have limit. We do have limit. This could be the... Oh, oh okay. I'm lucky. Just a little too far away. It's a known interaction, so... I was just improperly spacing that read. See, jab, jab, power dunk. It's tried right and true. Not sure which way Cloud has to be at. I'm sure the up and in. The ledge trap. Teach kind of holding it down on this ledge right here. Not letting Cloud come back on. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. High, too. I like the fair idea. He's just like opting to be a little further off ledge there. Great job recognizing it's a pretty up smash. Up smash again, letting Cloud regain control. Ledge trap situation, what's the mix? Oh, not yet. Yeah. Ooh, reverse. Yeah. We gotta go. That'll do it. This is huge. 122%, potentially kill percent. However, we gotta go. This can even it out. Right here. Oh, I think if that land, that rising near hits, you get the free power guys right there. There you go. Sword F tilt into command hit. It's not really a grab, but good side B move. I deal 90%. Don't check me. Good back here is over the. Oh, what's up? No. I can do it real quick. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I'll take over. I'll do the solo comps right now. Let's see. Forward air. Gonna do it. 83% on this last stock. It's anybody's game, though. It's Terry versus Cloud. You never really know which way this can go. See, we're kind of fighting over center stage right now. Cloud getting. Racking on as much damage as we can to try and even this out, although, yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. Buster Wolf. Let's see, and he, yeah, he just does the input, just does the input, he tries to, he calls out the landing. You know, I do like that. Cloud not really having too many options whenever it comes down to landing if you're not trying to auto cancel anything. Ooh, good song choice. I love it. Whenever your foot gets clipped by a by a Buster Wolf, it is. It's it's it hurts my feelings. I'm just I'm watching. I'm just spectating. All right, we're gonna go into game two. I think they gentlemen back to Pokemon Stadium two. They did. I love this Terry ult. This is the Terry ult that I play in CBS. Mm -hmm. I'm also an Advent Children enjoyer, so they just got they just got the drip on right now. Both characters. Advent Children. Final Fantasy VII Advent Children. Yeah, it's a movie. That's where that's where this outfit is from for Cloud. On game two. Yeah, game two. Uh, Teach took the first one rather convincingly. Uh, Cloud yeah. was trying to land, but just a Buster Wolf will hit Cloud's feet and get the kill. Yeah, the awkward. The matchup's like a little awkward for Cloud, albeit, like, it's probably even at the end of the day, so good, like, 100% good stuff on Teach, but it's like a much awkward spacing and decision-making kind of game. And, like, how you push your advantage is super important against Terry. Alright, now, nice little change of pace from game one. Cloud's gonna take the first stock this time around. 
efficiency and only 81% too. Yeah, we can just turtle it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, just pull up shield, up B out of it anytime it gets touched. I'm surprised we're, we're seeing a lot of like parry attempts. I think the spot dodge is really good against Cloud for these FGC characters because you get access to a technical like timing for all time purposes out of shield option, but mm -hmm. like it's not like you you get access like side B power dunk instead of being limited to a smash up B roll and whatnot. And we are about to lap teach in percent right here. Great recovery timing there by Teach. Getting the clean snap yeah. so that dash back. Go can is on deck right now. This could potentially even out this stock, Ooh, but you gotta be out there. Oh wow, great back there, fine, they're on the roll. Are you thinking they go high? Yeah. Going armor. through it, yep. Buster Wolf would go. Yeah, Teach been liking that option on Wi-Fi very recently, or maybe not recently, but when I've had the unfortunate privilege of playing against Teach, they've been using that option quite a bit. And it's scary, you know, you have like the armor, you can't dash back to cover the fight out of the corner, you kind of just have to deal with Terry having those big, strong, broken moves in a place where he doesn't really have to run away, he just gets to fight you. Right, we're fighting on ledge right now. Uh, Cloud trying to play it a little safe. Ooh. Yeah, good back air. Yeah, good back air. Kind of unique aspect of Iris's game is the whole back air out of shield that she likes to position for. It's very nice. And she'll do it whenever their opponent's in the air, too. This is going to be an uphill battle for Terry right here. Now, it might not be incredibly difficult, but Cloud, like I was saying earlier, is, Ooh, if you just oh, turtle yeah, it up. Fine. You know, we're just camping underneath these platforms, not letting you approach from above. Yeah. Never mind. Didn't get the auto Never mind. Canceled. Making me eat my words. Teach. Gonna even it out. Only 15% deficit. Just too high to clean the auto cancel there. Good recognition there by Teach. Like, yeah, I got the other for free here. Great stuff. Really very well versed in punishing Cloud. And this is one bread and butter combo away from being an even game. Mm-hmm. Oh no! Yeah, these sides are kind of rough to catch Terry because Terry's already looking to spot dodge as it is through your landing coverage. And that side B leaves you very open if you miss the first one. All intensively purposed laggy move. See, so fighting for center stage right now. Mm -hmm. Cloud of Fiend forward, of yeah, course. Both players just kind of trying Ooh. to regain control. Ledge trap situation. What is it? Terry getting on for free. Yeah, the fact that Rising Bear can hit Terry because he's so tall is huge for Iris right now. Gotta find her way off ledge and out of the corner, though. Ooh, not quite there for the punish. Alright, low profiling, perhaps a little bit over that. Great up smash, but like, yeah, you're gonna press something. If nothing, drop shield. Alright, ledge trap situation Anti again. This could be it for the game. What's gonna happen? Great discipline by Iris so far. Oh, nice stuff. I love the patience. gonna get up on stage and eat a charge neutral. I think that was a drop shield to parry something like a dash attack maybe mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but iris sitting there waiting very very patiently for a sillier option perhaps knowing like yeah there's a go there's a lot of terrible horrendous things you can do to me right now but i'm gonna wait for you to drop shield good stuff they give 11 frames after shield drop to until you're actionable pretty sure that's the, the lag numbers on that so good job like yeah you either have to reshield this blade beam or pray to god you can armor through it <laughs> Game three early on in the tournament, always a good, nice little treat to see. Smashville is curious. Mm. Wow. Well, Terry counter pick Smashville? Actually, no, I believe it. No, that's where you want yeah, to go. I'm yeah, just surprised, yeah. I'm surprised it wasn't, it wasn't banned. Yeah. yeah. We still have three bands over here, right? Yeah, we do three bands. No DSR. It's a curious, great DI there. Oh, ha! <laughs> no, I, I need to go back and look and see what the bands were, because they were yeah. listed. I just wasn't paying attention. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. I understand that, like, if you're Cloud, you want Terry off stage more, but, like, Iris hasn't been super on top of these edge guards or ledge traps, rather. Actually, she won the game last time, but I can't blame her. Now, I do. I actually think that this stage might help and take away from both players because, like, most of the majority of the kills in both games were off the side. Mm -hmm. You know, so like Cloud, just a random back air while you're off stage, well, that'll kill you at thirty. Yeah, whenever sh Terry's not shielding, roll is like an infinitely worse option because the character has the auto turn on mechanic. It's kind of unfortunate. There. You kind of want to time your rolls whenever Terry's shielding. Yeah, dash attack right there. Going to take the first stop. 137 with go. And, oh, good DI. Unfortunately, it's not enough. Even stocks. 2-2. Two -two. I like the spot dodge idea there off of the shield because Terry can, like, do that. have stuff queued up. 
Very landing fair there, coming out of Teach. Get to, gets a little re-advantage at center stage there. Nice to see. Ooh. Bit of an errantly timed power wave, I think is what the move's called from Terry. Power wave? Teach sent off stage, yeah, the neutral B. The mm -hmm. grounded little silly goose thing. Oh, wow. Nice paw there with the dash attack. Fair, what's the combo? Just gonna keep the simple side, the easy 40% combo. Oh, almost having the falling up here on that tech in place. Shuffled a little too early, perhaps. I like that. So you said that Teach was uh, in the lead in this matchup. It's 2-1 Teach's favor right now? Uh, yeah, but it was Kazuya the last few times Kazuya I had it applied. right here. Yeah. It makes me wonder, do you think they're switching characters, or do they not feel comfortable with Kazuya in this matchup? Or I know I think that... it's just like a character drop in general. No, I'm, Teach... I think Teach is prioritizing the Terry. Last I saw them tweet about it. The big punish? Yep, nice little... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah and takes the stop. Venus Day gonna clear that like 140, 130 onwards with Rage. Nice up air. Ooh, great follow up. I like the punish there. Oh, rolling into the fair though. Fair 2 coming out. Oh, I like the up smash. Great up air dodge. That was cool. No, you can put some off stream if you want. I do want serotonin on stream though. Oh, air dash attack, yeah, that'll do it. Not quite. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. The amazing DI, though. Mm -hmm. I thought we were about to live that. That really could have gone in either way, too. Yeah, cool win condition recognition there from Teach. Like, yeah, I can only get this F tilt on this jumpy and cloud if I dash back F tilt. So that was clean. Well, good recognition there by Teach. Be right back. I'm no gonna dash get, back. I'm gonna go do some recognition of the, of the aerial approach. Good stuff.